Okay, so what I'm gonna go over today is your uh, lug nuts that are gonna be required. These are old school Anson Sprint uh, 15 by 8.5s. Your baloney Tonys, as I like to call them. And uh, <clears throat> the issue you run into with these Ansons, now if you get like the American Racing Indie Profiles or uh, Westerns or any of the other knockoffs, they pretty much fit flush, okay? You know what, I'm gonna need some light. Okay, the way these are made, let me try to tilt this back here so you can see. It's got these standoffs, okay? And I haven't really measured it, but I'd say it's about maybe an inch. It's like having an inch thick wheel spacer built into the rim, okay? And where the issue comes in, is that when you go to put the lug nuts on, your standard lug nut, whether it's a Magard or it's your uh, O'Reilly style, auto parts store style, I'll actually post what these are. I'll splice it in there. But uh, they're going to be too short. That's the first problem. So let me try to show you here. I lost my slide caliper. I misplaced it, so we're going to use the ruler. Sorry about that. With the uh, washer, which, you know, after you use them, they get a little bit concave because they're cheap. You're looking at about a little more than three quarters, so probably about 13 eighths. Okay, without the washer, you're looking at about a sixteenth shy of, uh, oh, you know what, it would help if I was on the inch side, wouldn't it? You're looking at about, sorry, my lighting's bad too, and I don't have my reading glasses. You're just shy, you're in a... An eighth shy of three quarters of an inch. So that would be what, 11, 11 eighths? But it's, uh, it's short, okay? And normally that's fine. But if you're running wheel spacers or you got a rim that's got wheel spacers built in, you're gonna need these long ones, okay? And these are my guards. This is the premium, the best. That's what you want. I'll go ahead and post a, uh, this exact part number now. But this one with the washer, you are looking at an inch and three eighths. And mind you, this washer's burly. This sucker doesn't distort when you torque it down, okay? Without the washer, you are looking at an inch and a half. It might be a 16th shy, but it's about an inch and a half. So that's quite a bit longer. You know, if I take the washers off and I put them together, you can see what I'm talking about. So, let me go ahead and just also point out, and again, on this cheap one, it's distorted, okay? But you're looking at a diameter of about 1.135 inches, okay? Whereas, on the thicker premium Magard one,
1.217. So that's quite a bit more beef. And the reason I'm pointing that out is so if you got to get replacement washers or whatever, or you want to update your cheap washers to better ones, you kind of have an idea. But the other thing you're going to want to make sure about, let's see if I can have enough light. Yeah, I have enough light. Most of these are recessed. You know, it's been machined out to fit the washer in. Let me show you with the small washer, okay? Can you see how that's like a perfect fit? Whereas this one isn't. So ideally, either machine or have this machine to fit the better washers. That would be ideal. And also keep in mind that because this washer is not gonna fit in there, or depending on your rim, it may not fit in there. You're also gonna have to add, I'd say that's about, well, it's, Probably like a sixteenth of an inch or maybe three thirty seconds of a grooved notch. So I mean that's gonna make it longer too. But anyways, what I really wanted to show you here, okay? Most of these older ones, let me get that washer out of there. Most of these older ones. Our machine for the uh, older style lug nut. Okay, so when you go to put the Beef Master in there, look at that. It doesn't fit. Okay, now I looked around and at least with my guard, to get it in that length, you go up to that what I call the Beef Master. So, I already showed you the diameters. You're gonna have to drill it out, okay? Fortunately for me, I got my trusty, dusty, trusty drill bits right here, so I'm able to do it that way. But uh, basically, 21 30 seconds is what your pre existing hole is going to be that fit the smaller ones. Let me show you here. Okay, now what you're going to need to do is grab an 11 16 Okay, and I'll throw in if you're doing the, the six lug wheels, and let me just remind you, this is GM I'm talking about right here. If you throw in six lug wheels, you're gonna have to do three quarters, because I've had the same problems, because I run six lug Anson slot, well, those are Western wheels on my uh, one ton Suburban. So, 11 sixteenths. Now, as you can see, that's not gonna fit in but that will make the lug nut fit perfectly. So there's, there's, there's your bingo, 11 sixteenths. Now what you do need to know about this is usually you're gonna have the thicker shank, which I believe is what, half inch? I should know that, but I'm tired today. Yeah, so this is a half inch shank, and unless if you get that in a 3 eighths inch shank, you gotta make sure that the chuck on your drill is gonna fit it. Now I'm embarrassed to say, but literally I have like four or five electric drills and they only go up to three eighths. I really gotta get around to buying one that, that has a half inch chuck. The other option, and the reason why I haven't got around to it yet, oh, I know I got it hiding here somewhere. I have an adapter, and of course it's hiding, but I have an adapter that basically you can add a half inch to a three eighths, but I must have it in my drawer. Well, that's not a big deal right now. I wanna say I got that from Harbor Freight. So if you're, you know, don't have one with a half inch shank, that's what you're gonna have to do. But uh, my Dewalt, that's my go-to, okay? Now, when you drill these out, you're better off drilling from the back because otherwise, you're gonna just slightly waddle out this part right here. And I mean, it'll still work, but if you wanna keep it clean and you know looking professional, you're just better off drilling from the back. But go ahead and drill all those out. 
And other than if you want to have the machining on this, which I'm going to not do right now, plus I don't have a local machine shop that can do it. I've asked both of them. I live in the butt fuck of nowhere, and my machine shops say they're machine shops, and they can't do that. But at any rate, that's about it. So I'm not going to actually show you the drill. Well, you know what? I drilled one. I can show you that. But I'll show you how good the fitment is with that size. So not this one. Not this one. That one. If I push down, I mean, it is such a minute tolerance. It's perfect. It's perfect. You know, the only thing I will add is when you got these standoffs or built in space or whatever you want to call it. You, you may need a longer lug nut. Now, because of the meat on these, it's, it's plenty. The thing is, is my uh, lug nut studs, which are 12 times 1.5, I want to say like uh, 1982 and below is 7 sixteenths. But uh, the issue that you're going to run into is that they're a little bit short, like maybe a sixteenth of an inch shallow from the hole so when you go to put these on you either need to like put your hand under the tire to like float it around to get it to line up or sometimes what i do is i put like a little crowbar and i'm right-handed so i crowbar with my left to try to get the alignment while i'm spinning with my right but you can put some extended lug nuts and uh what I bought here, you know what? I got them hiding right now. I'll splice it in later. But I got extended ones. I'm actually gonna add those when I do my uh, Ford 8.8 coming up here pretty quick. But the extended ones will stick out and make it a lot easier to put them on. Then you can take your lug nut and you can get it started a couple of turns. And then once your lug nut gets started, then you can go ahead and, you know, pull the wheel forward over the shoulder and then start, you know, hand torquing it. You get my drift. But basically, yeah, all that rambling, just to give you the size, which is 11 sixteenths. And then, of course, you're opening it up to 11 sixteenths from 21 30 seconds. Okay, I got these mounted on my S10. What I wanted to show you is what I was talking about. And again, I'm missing my little, my little slidey caliper. You know, it's like a little centimeter wide metal ruler that's got the little prongs that slide out for precise measurement. But you don't really need the measurement. Just bugs me. I can't give it. But it's not much. It's like a sixteenth of an inch. Plenty of meat when you bolt it on. Just like I said, it's a little annoying. Especially like if you were in nice clothes on the side of the road doing a spare, it would suck. It's really nice to have these about a quarter of an inch longer from factory. But uh, the other thing I wanted to show you. And I omitted this. You know how I was talking about machining this? Another option, use the uh, small washer and either find it with the diameter that you need that I posted earlier, that thicker diameter, or drill out the washer the same way you did these. Put the little washer in first and then have that big washer fit over it. So that's what I'm gonna end up doing. But I wanted to go ahead and show you that.